All right, welcome to another video from the chart readers. It's been a crazy few weeks of trading and it looks like we might see which way the market is gonna go at least short term. So this is a pretty important episode in my opinion. Um, but before we get into the details, what are we gonna do? Look, we're gonna look at the NASDAQ, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. We're gonna look at the daily, the weekly, and we're also gonna look at the monthly, because again, we're, we're three quarters of the way done with the month, right? So um, that candle is almost complete. And again, Friday especially was a pretty crazy day, but we're just gonna kinda talk about um, a good amount of stuff like we always do, right? So let's start with the NASDAQ. Friday was a monster day, but let's just kind of back it up a little bit, right? We've been trading pretty horizontally across this death line that I've called, right? It really looked like in the middle to beginning of the month, we were going to lose it. Almost actually looked like we were going to lose 10,000 on the NASDAQ. We bounced off this line, made an attempt at the 20, didn't happen, but actually for the first time in a long time, we bounced off the 8. Okay, every time we've made an up, we lose the eight and fall. Made an up, lose the eight and fall. Made an up, actually bounced off the eight. That is huge. You know how much I love the eight moving average, right? It's our green line. My number one rule is stay over the eight, right? And this was the first time it broke the eight drop down and then used it as the bounce, right? That's what I think makes this a lot different. So I'm gonna zoom out a few times here, right? So number one, let's talk about the 20, this, this orange line, right? One attempt to break it and then fail. Two attempts to break it, fail. Three attempts to break it, fail. An actual almost break, but still fail. Day test fail, day test fail. Finally break. For the first time in a long time and you heard me say it i'm gonna be pretty pessimistic until we break this we broke this on friday but you know i need confirmation i need to close up here tomorrow not back down here tomorrow right but this kind of seems like it should go up again i've it's been a crazy couple times what this right here made it look like it was gonna go down again, right? I actually didn't think we were gonna bounce off the eight, so I'm not pretending to, to know what's going on. One more time, this seems like a good move, and as we look at the other ones, they look strong as well. Real quick, I'm gonna zoom out. I know I don't like to do this too much, but this pretty much is the downtrend track that we've been doing, okay? So look. Remember, it pretty much started in January, so we're gonna use the peak right there. We're gonna hit this and work our way through. Okay, so we have to go up because it actually hits this, and we're just gonna extend the line. So that's the first line, and you can see almost starting to line up perfectly with the 200, okay? Then we had a sharper drop. We go there and there. Let's kind of continue it, okay? And then again, we had another drop from here to here, right? So we've now broken this first downtrend. We're now making our way up to this one. And then, hey, we might be making our way up to this one, right? I've said it a couple times. It looked like we wanted to come up to these two, and that's a cluster, right? When there's two lines close together, I call that a cluster. It's generally hard to break, but hey, if you can break a cluster like we do here, you tend to get a good run, right? This even is, you can almost call it a cluster, these, this um, orange and green line, right? Not as tight, but nonetheless, it looks like we might be trying to make our way, but again, we need confirmation still. However, this was a pretty nice move of at least this break. We're on a good place, and hey, if we can get confirmation, again, it seems like this would be the, the breaking point. Otherwise, it would be around that 1100 number if we can't get over this downtrend line, right? Um, zooming back in, sorry, give me one sec. Again, that's a nice MACD. We like it when the green is, oh, first we like green on top of red. We also like it when the green looks like it wants to keep going and the red stays down here. Still a very negative number, right? So you know I'm not gonna be super, super happy until we break the 200. However, if we can ride from here to here, that's I mean, almost a 10% jump. And if the NASDAQ goes up 10%, 
you can swing some stocks for like three, four times that, right? You can make a 30, 40 banger in the time this could potentially go up like 10%, right? So that's why I'm also a little excited. Nonetheless, nothing matters until tomorrow's confirmation. You know that if you watch enough of these videos. On the weekly, look, again, the weekly doesn't look fantastic yet, right? We're still trading well under the eight. We have not been over the eight for a while. Again, we did close over the line. Obviously, if we close over the daily, we're gonna close over it here, right? Nonetheless, that's a bit of a cluster right there, right? And once we break that, the 20 is no joke by itself, right? So. Um, the weekly doesn't look great. I do like this though. It kind of looks like the MACD and the RSI are trying to do its thing. RSI is actually looking a little better, but look, it's been so tight. Nothing really matters till we really get around here, 11.2, right? And you've heard me say it on other videos. They're not here because this really is the main channel, but 11.3, 11.5, and 11.7 have been some pretty important numbers that, that just keep coming up. So even this right here, again, you can easily make a line right here. What is that? Just basically 11.2, right? But 11.3, 11.5, and 11.7 are still um, my like hidden numbers, right? So um, maybe this one right here would be, yeah, that's an 11.3 wall right there. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty good with the NASDAQ, I think. Again, if you have any questions, never hesitate to throw them into the chat. So SP500, again, look at that daily candle, right? This again, you can see it. We make an attempt, can't bounce on the eight and we drop make an attempt, can't bounce on the eight and drop, make an attempt, bounce on the eight. It's the first time we've seen that in, in, I'm telling you the exact same thing, right? Again, make an attempt and fail, right? So since this worst drop, this fail of the 200 that we did here, this really is the first bounce of the eight. And I promise that that means something. Again, nothing, we need confirmation, right? Nothing matters the first day. We need that second day. However, I'm loving it, right? I'm gonna do the same lines. I actually normally don't do it. Sorry, I'm gonna go to January. I normally don't do it here. I kind of skip on and you just assume it, right? But again, from January, we're gonna make that line right there. Yeah, that's gonna be our... So this one's a little over. Um, from there, this peak to here. Uh, boom, sorry, cool. And again, you can see it's almost starting to line up to that cluster. And then the same break that, uh, well, yeah, we'll use that one because it hits till right there. The same break of this small one is now what we're seeing, right? So um, this is almost lining up exactly to uh, my line right there, actually. So this might not get to this. Maybe that's something indicative of the NASDAQ as well, right? I kind of assumed it was going to get to this versus stopping at the the other downtrend, which was before as well, right? But um, again, these move together and these should do the same thing. Either all three will break this secondary downtrend, either all three will stop at, you know, this cluster here, right? Maybe they'll all fail tomorrow. Nonetheless, they move together. I've been stressing that, right? So um, I'm, I'm hoping you see it as we do this, right? But um, not the prettiest RSI, I'll throw that out there, right? I know, again, I said the the MACD does look nice, still a little negative, not as negative, but um, yeah, I wish the RSI was kind of doing a little bit more of a monster, monster peak. Okay, so look, this is actually better weekly because we do bounce off the 200. I at least like seeing that. Nonetheless, we have not gotten over the eight in quite some time, right? So... Um, really, this was the last time we were over the eight because you can see we actually closed under right there. So um, what month was this? This was, I mean, early August, mid-August, right? So um, yeah, it's been a while since we've been over the eight. Remember, we want to get over the eight on the weekly because that will mean the week will be good, which should mean more days will be good than bad, right? And that's where you want to swing. When the market's good, it's easier to swing. This is a beautiful couple day, couple weeks of swinging right here. This is a horrible few weeks of swinging right here, right? So again, if you watch my videos, you know I like short-term moves. Um, yeah, 
Let's go to the monthly real quick. Okay, nice. Look, again, didn't uh, lose the 50. At one point, it looked like in the month we lost it, right? So right now, this is looking like a pretty good candle. I obviously would love it to run up to here, right, and just overtake that last candle. But nonetheless, that's a, not a bad monthly. Um, I'm at least glad we didn't lose the 50. Still another week left, but um, yeah, S&P 500 looking, looking like the NASDAQ, right, which is good. Again, so, wow, I did not know that actually. We're at that double cluster on the Dow Jones. I really didn't realize that. That's pretty huge actually. Um, interesting. So we break the two, man, I have not, you can see I actually have not been looking at the, at the, the DJ30, but check this out, right? So look, this breaks both lines bounce again stays over the eight that was the bounce right here stays up man this the dow jones has been going crazy i did not expect this to be at the double cluster so oh man for sure wait for confirmation because i'm not sure if it's going to break this if the dow jones can break these two lines tomorrow or really even between monday and tuesday that's going to be huge i i'm beyond surprised how close this thing is to the 200. Um, man, may, wow, that's crazy, actually. Let's make the lines here because there should be a pretty substantial difference. So again, this is the peak of January. We'll run it to this because that's the highest point right there. Okay. Then from here, we come down basically to that. You can You can almost exactly say that. Um, this one broke that already. Um, cause again, this goes from here to here too. Then you right? Like, I mean, there's different ways to say it, but nonetheless, there's almost no secondary downtrend on this one. This one's coming here. If it breaks it, it's coming to the 200. And then from there, it's coming to basically break this line and then go to these golden lines, right? Like this is where the money is. This is where the like amazing trading is gonna be once we get there. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I thought we were sitting much closer to the red and I've been a lot more pessimistic, but Monday should be interesting, especially because, uh, and you know, it could also be uh, something along the lines of this might not break these two yet, but maybe the, the NASDAQ and the S&P are gonna come and try to catch up to this line, right? Because again, I do keep saying it, they, they should break together. Last thing I'm gonna say one more time, that's still an ugly RSI. It kind of looks like it's like curving back down. I'm not too sure, right? Because it did this like drop, horizontal, pop. And again, because also let's just make this line right here. There, It's, it's not as high as, it, it, you, that's about straight right there. But um, interesting, I don't know if this is about to come down right now or if it's about to go back up and, and break these two. But real interesting to see, and I'm gonna actually go back real quick. Um, just knowing this, let's look at the SP500 one more time. Again, look how far it is from those two, right? So maybe these catch up. Dow Jones calms down and they either all break together or all fail. Again, this kind of looks like it's doing that little bad curve as well. And then let's go to the comp. Again, look how far it is, right? And this is also kind of doing that. Um, man, I'm not going to lie. Look, it, it all goes back to confirmation on Monday. Wait for Monday's close because really we should see what that looks like. But it's been... It's been a very horizontal trading, right? And whenever it seems like it's gonna go up, it somehow finds its way to go down and go back horizontal. Here, I'm telling you, it looks like it wants to go up. And like, I'm telling you, in the beginning of this video, I was so more optimistic than I was at the end of this video. And it just kinda, it, it, it makes me hesitant to think how high this might go or, you know, what, but, just watch this. This this is a this is an interesting video. It's not as uh, definitive as I wanted it to be, and it turned a little more pessimistic by the end than I expected it to. But um, again, you can tell I trade the tech stocks more, so I know the Nasdaq a lot more, right? I've definitely been well aware that the Dow Jones has been the strongest. But one more time, let me just end it on the Dow 30. If you've stayed this whole time, 
I can't believe we're that high. I can't believe we've closed that channel and closed that channel. And again, the channels are my two, the, the, the distance between these two lines, the distance between those two lines, that's called a channel, right? We've, we've, we're now coming into this channel and this is where all the moving averages are. And I mean, the Dow has been the strongest. And another way to look at it is if this fails here and comes down, that might be a way for, I'm telling you, I can't tell if this is gonna run up or run down and wait for confirmation. Again, no one has that crystal ball. I'm not here to pretend I do. I'm no guru if you've watched these, and you can tell I'm doing these like unrehearsed, right? But it's, it's some crazy times out there. So have a plan, don't get greedy, and um, yeah, interesting. That's all I can say. Hey, trade safely. I'll make another one midweek for sure. Um, trade safely.